Hello, and welcome back to our channel at Vietnam Travel News and Tips. It has been a while since our last video, but would like to thank the loyal subscribers to our channel that make it all worthwhile. Later in the video, we will talk about e-visas and visa on arrival. So please stay tuned to the end of the video for more on that. In today's video, we will talk about a few interesting news items from around Vietnam, so let's get started. Vietnam Airlines will resume regular flights from Da Nang, to Bangkok, and Kuala Lumpur. Starting on 1 September, four weekly flights between Da Nang and KL, and two weeks later, daily flights to Bangkok, will be in full swing. In our next item today. The city of Hue, in central Vietnam, will start introducing open-top buses from the 1st of September. Departing from Toa Kham Wharf next to the Hong River, they'll take passengers past many of the major tourist landmarks in the city. Scheduled to operate from 8 a.m. to 5.20 p.m. daily, taking approximately 40 minutes each trip. The open-top bus will pass by such attractions as Tian New Pagoda, Imperial Citadel, Dong Ba Market, Two Hu Pagoda and the Royal Tombs. Prices not yet disclosed. In our next item today. The Australian magazine, Traveller, has placed Vietnam, in one of eight best places in Asia, to go on holiday. Recommending December to March as the best time to visit the beaches, with the most pleasant weather. Particularly recommending Hui Non. It also suggested Ning Bing, as another great destination to visit, have you been to either? Please leave a comment below. In our next item today. The Minister of Culture, Sports, and Tourism, proposed earlier this month, that the visa exemption, currently offered to a select few countries, be expanded to include the US, Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and India. Does this appeal to you? Write your thoughts in the comments below. Skyscanner, has given Vietnam a position in the top six best budget foodie destinations in the world. Fighting alongside other heavyweight destinations, such as Thailand, Nepal, India, Mexico, and Singapore. Although prices have risen in recent months, a bowl of fur will cost just over one pound, a bang mi, can be about the same and some tasty treats such as bang goi, or bang tom, just 30p each. You won't blow your budget on street food in Vietnam. Now, on to some visa news, which is either encouraging, or depressing. But first, please hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell, for future videos, we promise to be more active, and more frequent, in the future. With news of Thailand now increasing the visa-free stay for tourists from 30 days to 45 days, Vietnam, must act now. Currently only 80 countries are permitted entry to Vietnam using an e-visa, a quick demo link in how to apply is in the description. Now, it seems, the government are requesting recommendations, from various ministries, to expand this list. Countries like South Africa and Israel, among many others are currently unable to apply. Is your country missing from this list? Comment below. If countries are added to the list permitted to apply for an e-visa, it certainly helps the tourism industry somewhat, as it is struggling. Just over 700,000 foreign visitors so far, and a target of 5 million before year-end, it has some way to go. Still no news on longer visas, something many of you are most interested in. Retirees from the US have earmarked Vietnam as a perfect destination, but how? A visa run every 30 days to a different country, is not anyone's idea of a relaxing retirement. Retirement visas are not available in Vietnam, yet in Cambodia and Thailand, they are. Why is that? Please leave your comments below. Now on to visa on arrival. Visa approval letters are still not yet available. However, we are hearing word, that there is a way to get one granted, albeit long-winded, and still not guaranteed. Vietnam embassies around the world, are telling citizens of countries not yet able to apply online for an e-visa, to contact local travel agencies in Vietnam, to obtain a visa on arrival letter. However, this is not quite strictly accurate. It is not just any travel agency in Vietnam which can do this, 
but only a select few tour operators. The wording between agencies and operators is causing confusion. Some operators are also asking for 80% deposit up front for the package, before applying for the visa. Have you been told to go this route? Has it worked? Please comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.